Hey everyone, Wanderer here, and welcome back to Wildlander. So, I have gone through and looted this top floor here, and whilst I was looting, I found this note that was uh, previously attached to the doorframe here, which reads, You've all been warned about trying to break into my treasure room, but Rorus didn't think I was serious. Now he's dead. You've all had your cut of the take already, and if I catch any of you dunglickers trying to break an in again, I won't let the traps kill you. I'll do it myself. From Rigo. Okay. So, these are certainly some nasty bandits, and they are certainly robbing everyone that comes by. So we, uh, well, we, ought to, we ought to put an end to them, I would say. Can I pick this up? I can't. I was going to see if I could pick that up and uh, move it around, but it looks like I can't. But yeah, I'd say, uh, after our experience, maybe it's time that someone starts putting these bandits in their place, you know? Maybe that's what we should do here. Maybe we'll be the ones to do that. I'm not sure how well that will go, but uh, hey, we can give it a try, you know? So, get a save in here to make sure we don't crash and lose a bunch of progress. Going to assume there will be people over here. Turning off my light for a second, and indeed I do hear people. There is a person. Oop, not, not what I want to do. Light. Whoa! Whoa! Not what I was going for. Could you maybe, like, take a swing and I can back up and then we can... But what about if it's another orc? Ooh, God. A swing and a miss. Oh man, I am almost dead. This is not going very well. I do have a level up. Can I cheese this by doing a level up and then just getting instant heal? <laughs> oh no, it didn't work. Never mind. Wildlander's smarter than that. Well, rest in peace. It was a good idea. Goodbye, yet another wonderful potion. I think I just used the wrong... No, I used the stamina potion. We're good. Ah, oh, dang it. He slowed down. I'll show you what a real orc can do. Oh yeah, is that what a real orc can do? Is that what a real orc can do? Dolph... Dolph... Humph... Grove... Chula? A real orc can just die, huh? Is that what you can do? Okay, well... We shouldn't be cocky. We almost got destroyed there. Really, that was not that great. But okay, we killed two, we got through it. Look, we're getting the hang of this whole killing bandits thing. We're getting better. Let's not jinx a good thing, yeah? So this person, what, was bringing in some cheese for these people? Is this a merchant that they were told? Oh yeah, just... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Did they tell this merchant, oh yeah, just, uh, you know, bring in the stuff over here. Could you, could you deliver it for us in here, please? Nothing suspicious about this at all. Just deliver this for us over here, and um, everything will be fine. Yeah, that's what that's what they're doing. That's their scam. They make them push their own damn cart in here, then they kill them. Terribly efficient. These uh, these people are. And we are going to take all the cabbages, because I'm sure I'll use it for cooking some stuff later on. Just a nasty pit down here, filled with uh, lots of dead people. Hey, lots of wood we can take here. That'll be very helpful later on for making campfires and such out in the wild, I'm sure. 
They have their own uh, murder pit here and lots of Khajiit because Khajiit don't have anyone to really turn to because they're distrusted. Yeah, look at that. They're distrusted, the cat folk are. Some would say with good reason. But personally, I've always thought that uh, they were no less trustworthy than any other random person you might meet. Hmm, anything of use here on these guys? Have I wasted my time coming down? There are a couple septums here. Would have thought they would have found those, though maybe they're making so much that, uh, from robbing these guys that a couple of random septums is not really a big deal. Though this one had a whole bag of gold and a potion here. So sorry, folks. Don't worry, you'll be avenged shortly, assuming I don't get my butt kicked. All right. So this goes over here that we have. We be <gasps> ah, god damn it! Scared the hell out of me. Ah. Bear traps. Great. Just great. At least I don't have a broken limb. I hear people marching over in that direction, doing something, so I guess uh, we'll find some more people over there. Some random stuff here. Orcish Emerald Circlet. Wow. That is worth quite a lot. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Get a pretty... Well, not a penny, but a pretty gold piece. Or two, or a thousand for that. And a merchant somewhere. I think we're discovered. Yeah, we are. Whoa! Okay. He, uh... He got the better of me. That one did. Did I mention this is not a permadeath run? Yeah, it's not a permadeath run. Um... So yeah, combat is pretty... Pretty intense in this, you know? It's pretty intense. I I misjudged that. I thought that he would, you know... I thought we'd be okay there. At least I looted all this stuff before we went over there. And I can trip that. So we don't hit ourselves in an accident. A bad time to get lost, Is this where you are over here? Where are you? I think he's coming from here. Yeah? Damn it. Crap. I'm out of stamina. He's not out of stamina. Can't wait to count out your coin. Picked a bad time to swing there, my friend. We should probably use a healing potion too, even if it's just a crude one, just to get a bit more. It's gonna take too long for us to get full health back here. This just goes down back around over here. Nothing else of note here. Oh, there's some sacks under here. Oh, maybe I can loot it. Maybe. Maybe. There's going to be nothing in there. Yeah, a bottle of milk. 
well worth my time not. Okay, so we have a different way we can go over there. That won't budge, so probably an alternate way to get into a deeper level in here. Maybe the treasure room? Lock is complex, right? So be careful with your lock picks here, 1D, because this one's going to be tough. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. So it's like over here somewhere. Ugh. This is so hard. This It really is rough. Oh my god, I was so close. Please. Okay. Well, um, spider venom and some other good stuff here. I guess I should be using a spider venom because it will, if nothing else, it will paralyze them for a second, and that is really invaluable for a tougher opponent because they'll go down, and I can hit them while they're down. Okay. I hear someone on the grinding wheel over here. No one's here. Tell you what. Gonna rip you open. Well, I mean, it worked well, all things considered. I'm not set about that. Whoa! I, I didn't think he was that close. Okay, didn't think he was that close. This is a surprise. Looks like we got ourselves a hero. Oh, God. That's what hit me. It's a freaking bow. <laughs> I love a challenge. Could you stop with the block spam already? This is really annoying. You were off by a tiny bit there, my friend. I should definitely run away. I'm not sure if I hit the health potion there or something else. I did. I got the health potion. Oh, they're shooting at me. Okay, yep, he's shooting at me. Why don't you guys come over here? Thank you for the arrow. I can't even see him over there. He's in the darkness. I think charging him would be a very bad idea. Come on. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh no, you don't get to run away now. Death is but a, Death is but a what? I didn't hear you. Okay. That was tense, but we got through it. This is very much... This is pretty much Frost... Fallout 4 Frost, but for Skyrim, you know? Like, the combat is very, very unforgiving. 
Which I like. I mean, it's anyone is a, a couple of sword strokes or a big overhanded chop away from being dead. This will be very fun to do a permadeath run of eventually. Okay, I'm going to loot all these, but I won't be looting every single barrel in the future. I promise, just like it for the first couple episodes to get a stockpile of stuff. But I'm going to skip it on the video here for y'all. i got a novice chest here as well. I know from experience that uh, lock picks are going to be very easy to come by because we're going to craft about a thousand of them to level up blacksmithing pretty high. And we're going to get tons of iron uh, from scrapping enemies' iron armor. So it really, like, they're not, it's not a problem. It's just uh, kind of annoying. Hey, got an amulet there of some kind. Amulet of Talos, I think it was. Didn't see it properly. Oh, of RK. Ah, ha 10 health points is fine. That's nice. That's a good find there. I'm not sure what linen wraps are used for, but we'll take them, sure. It seems like it's about all down here that's important anyway. No. Yeah, nothing super important over here. And then... Oh, I think I can... Get over here without jumping, get, or get up there without jumping too, right? You can just walk around here, yeah? There. Nobody here. I should save again just in case we don't want to end up losing progress here. Jeez Louise. Okay, maybe we use our potion here, or our poison here. Okay. I got owned there, guys. I'm not going to be entirely honest. I got owned there. Sword and shield people seem real strong. Seem rather difficult to deal with. I suppose I can maybe wear him down. Yeah, there we go. Once his stamina... There we go. Once his stamina runs out, it's not too bad. I have to remember, too, I'm not very skilled in melee just yet. My character is not, so... Okay, just have to... Just have to use overwhelming power against them and pray they don't have enough stamina to really... Pray we have more stamina than they do, I guess, is, uh, is the key. I swear Frost was easier than this for lock picking. But okay, another one down. Very good. Maybe I should wait for a second here. Get my stamina back. Here we go. And we're tired now, though. Gonna have to get some sleep soon. Maybe if I killed all those guys, that bed will be considered usable now. I'm not really sure. There's gold in the ground over here. Did you hear something? Over here. Whoa, okay. Um, no, I don't want to die. No, look, I, I, uh, we're stuck in a load screen. Maybe we don't go that far in just yet in this dungeon. Maybe we call it good here. Maybe we say hooray for our good fortune so far. Good job. And let's uh, seek out an easier place to find some experience and levels. I feel a bit more confident in combat now. Maybe we can make our way up north to 
or sorry, uh, back south down to that other area, the, um, the camp that we saw earlier. I mean, archers are dangerous, but clearly I can kill them in one or two shots, and they tend to run away if you get one hit on them. You just have to make sure you dodge their initial shot, and then, you know, it's okay. I'm gonna have to wait here for a bit, though, to get some stamina back, yeah. And now we're tired, of course. Okay, so let's make our way back up, and maybe it'll have stopped raining at least up here by now. That'd be nice. Yes, finally it has stopped raining. And hey, potatoes. Random deer over here. Oh. Um... Hello? Hello? Need something? Until next time. Christus the Thoughtful. Do you... Hey. Do you want to help me kill some bandits? I don't think they're actually bandits, but you want to help me kill some people? How about you? Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. Uh, okay. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. What am I holding on to? And where the where'd the guy go? Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I got destroyed there. Okay, let's see if we can get this camp cleared out. Hey, sometimes things just work out. We caught people fighting each other. All right. Well, it's our camp now, I guess. Hooray for that. I'm not sure who these people were even... Like, why they were fighting each other. Wow, he had a lot of arrows. That'll be useful. That was a scary sound. Okay, can I do this and see people? Yes, okay, we can see corpses now, right. That is very useful. It is the right alt key for that. Highlights plants as well. And containers too, I think. Maybe. Yep, there's one person we missed over there. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, uh, look, you know, some people's bad fortune is, uh, our good fortune, so sorry about... Sorry about the whole, you know, you dying and everything, but, um... Hey, you know, we've got a camp now. It's kind of nice. Not a great camp, but it's a lot better than nothing, so... I'm gonna go ahead and sleep here. I guess. We'll just do maybe, like, 11 hours. It'll be... Close to 7 a.m. when we get up. It's not bad. And we're going to be very hungry and thirsty, of course. So let's take care of that. Um, do some apple cabbage stew. And it's probably not going to be enough. No, we are good. We're, we're good with that, I guess. And then some water skin. Okay, and yeah, we're good. So it's early morning now. Okay. So we've got a, a camp back here. That's not bad. Um... Okay, that was a trap that apparently I ran over. I didn't take any damage, though. Let's, uh... Oh, hello, bees. You're using alchemy, aren't you? I guess that's kind of nice. We get some... bees for free. They don't sting us, thankfully. Is 
there a deer just, like, stuck or something over here? What's going on here? Really, that's all the damage I'm doing with this thing? This is a two-hander, right? I'm using a... Yeah, it's just... I'm just doing, like, no damage with it. That's pretty pathetic, honestly. Okay, there's no way I will ever kill that elk. Not with this weapon, or not with my level, or whatever, anyway. Or without a horse. On horseback, maybe. That's what we should find, is a horse. A horse would make things far easier. Yeah, I already searched this thing, but the bees are out. In force, still. I mean, hey, I'm not gonna complain bees are good for alchemy, right? That's fine with me. Alright, so perhaps we ought to, um make our way toward Falkreath and see about doing some smithing, breaking some stuff down, doing some smithing, getting some levels under our belt, selling some wares. Perhaps uh, if I can't make a tent and such, maybe I can buy one. That'd be nice. There's a deer here, which I will never be able to kill. Just have too much health. I'd prefer a wolf, actually, over a deer. Like, I can... They'll fight me and die pretty easily. Deer just run away from me. Well, I did say I'd prefer a wolf, didn't I? I mean, hey, I'm not gonna complain about that. Skinned and butchered and harvested and good to go. Are there bandits here? There sure are. Not anymore, though. Let's get our healing going here. Take off our armor. Ugh, but I'm gonna have to re-equip it all, which is a pain. Can I... You know what? I'll favorite all of it. That way I can see it easier. There we go. Can't wait till I have enough magicka, or, like, maybe if I get the level in my... I can't wait till I don't have to do that, I guess. That'd be nice. At least I can favorite these and I can see them a bit easier. That should be everything, right? I think so. I probably have better stuff I could equip at this point, but I'm too lazy to look for it. Okay, some decent stuff here. Was it just kind of a... There's rocks in there. Were they just using this to drop on people as they walked through? Was that their scam? I guess, you know, merchants can't go around, right? That makes sense. Okay, right. I guess I tripped that, didn't I? I didn't see a tripwire anywhere, but okay. Yeah, if you were a merchant, that'd be a real bad time, I guess, wouldn't it? Uh, hi, friendly? I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the goddess of twilight, if you'll excuse me. In the mountains to the northeast, I'll mark it on your map. Well, thank you, good sir. Okay. That's not a beehive, is it? That's probably a Spriggern, and Spriggerns are freaking scary at this level. 
you need fire to deal with them pretty much with this mod. They regenerate health way too fast. Same with trolls. They just regenerate health way too fast now, so... It's kind of rough. That might be... Yeah, this is a place. This is uh, Falkreath over here, I'm pretty sure. Well, we made it here at least. That's good. Now we can uh, salvage some stuff and craft some things for ourselves, and things should get much better for us. Back to civilization. Okay, so first stop over at the blacksmith, I would say. Here we go. Okay, um, so I should be able to just, like, salvage a bunch of stuff. Oh, right, first I have to get stuff out of my chest, I guess, which means going out of town for a second, then coming back in. So I have to drop my chest off outside of town, then come back in. Okay, so if you hit the question mark button or the forward slash button on your keyboard, that brings up the salvaging menu. And we can salvage lots of different stuff here. And I'm going to be salvaging a whole bunch of iron stuff. A bunch of iron uh, and steel weapons and such. And tankards and plates and everything else. Um, 20 iron fragments yields one iron ore. So we ought to be able to make lots of good stuff. And level up our smithing skill quite a bit once I'm done here with all this. Okay, so I can swap out my current Imperial Light Curus for a leather one. Has a bit better coverage, which means we'll... I think the coverage is for wetness. You get wet uh, less easily, or it takes longer to get to get wet, something like that. I also noticed we found this set of Orcish stuff. I am not sure where we got that. Uh, maybe there was an Orcish... Someone in Orcish armor fighting someone else that we, like, helped them, sort of assisted them or whatever, but hey... Uh, not going to complain, right? It is heavy armor, though, so not really my thing, but it does sell for quite a bit. Not sure if I'll sell it or break it down for the um, the ore and then try to make maybe a, a great sword or something with it. That might be a good idea. Not sure. Uh, but we'll sell some of this other stuff here. Now, I don't have a cloak on yet, so I'll put that on. And that's going to be all, I think. The rest we can probably sell. I scrapped a good deal of stuff here. Yeah, we, so we got this Orcish War Axe and this Orcish Heavy Bow. Those are pretty, pretty, both pretty nice. Honestly, pretty good. Damage-wise, um, oh, this is a two-hander. So we got an Orcish Battle Axe. I didn't even know we had this. I'm not sure where we got this, but that's an awesome find. Okay. So then, let me see. Pardon me, sir. I want to make some things here. We need to make some toolkits for ourselves, right? So we need to make a... We have an alchemist toolkit. We need to make a brewer's toolkit and a tailor's toolkit. And let's see what we can make from the survivalist toolkit in the forge. I should be able to make some more... good toolkits here? Can I not make a smithing toolkit? What am I missing? Oh, I need steel ingots. Oh, okay, that's why. I need steel ingots. Well, that's fine. I can... I can make some steel ingots pretty easily over here. I have plenty of steel scraps that I got from breaking stuff down. So, yes. Let's do some steel ingots. I don't think I'll be using steel fragments for anything, so sure, that's fine. There we go. Now I should be able to make my toolkits, yes? There we go. So, yeah, we want a thieves toolkit. Did I make a tailor's toolkit? I'm not sure, but I'm going to make another one. Smithing, jewelers... Chefs, builders, I think I already made a brewer's, yeah, I already made one of those. Okay, so that's good, and now we can use our toolkits while we're near the forge, and we can do some crafting, or at least, you know, based on what we have here. Now, since we've got that, we can make some iron lockpicks, but before we start spamming this stuff, I want to get myself a crafting buff bonus type thing here. So I'm going to see here if I can make myself a camp. I want to build a fire for number one, and I want to build, if I can, 
It should be under survivalist. Uh, a leather tent. Need a bedroll first. What am I missing for a bedroll? Two hide lace. Can I make that? Let's see. Yes, that comes from a ruined pelt. I need two of them, though. I need two of those. Um, okay. And I can't get that from salvaging, right? Let's see here. No, it doesn't look like I can get that from salvaging stuff. Perhaps the blacksmith might have... Steel's good, but... Mm. Blades, helmets... Let's see. Hide lace. To suit your needs. Yes, indeed, and they're quite cheap. That's entirely fine. We'll take that. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Okay, so we can make our bedroll then. Let's go in here and look at the... I did indeed make two tailor kits on accident here, but that's fine. We can scrap one of them. Survivalist toolkit and bedroll. Bed. Make it. And yes, we can make a fur large or a small tent. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. I think the leather one looks better, though. So I'm going to make the leather tent instead. Fur leather large tent. Sure. You can create them that have a lot of extra bed rolls, too, which I guess is good if you have companions and you want to bring them along. You'd want to have them with, uh, you know, more space. So now we can go into our inventory here and just activate this leather large tent. And uh, it's not that much bigger, honestly, than the other one is. It's fine, though. Is there, is there a campfire spot in there? Is that what's in the middle there? It is kind of nice if that's the case. I do like that. Um, can I just set up camp over here? Off the side of the road somewhere? Yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, we got a little map here, a little dining area for ourselves. This is quite good. I like this. Okay, then I guess there is no campfire here. We'll have to put a campfire down somewhere, but we can do that. Uh, campfire is the left arrow key, and that would want we'd want that to be outside of our tent a bit here. Do that. Place it there. I can't. Does it have to be further out? Further out here. This is okay. It should be close enough that we'll get warm from that. Let's go ahead and use this. We're going to do campfire here. So right, we're going to prepare our fire by adding some tinder and kindling. Uh, we have some straw we can use for tinder. That's fine. So add our tinder. And for kindling, we already have plenty. So let's go ahead and light the fire. Hey, not bad for our first time. It was pretty quick. And let's upgrade the campfire a bit here. And now we've got a nice, powerful campfire. And if we sit sit down here for a second... I'm not sure if you have to sit or not, but if you stay near it for a second, uh, you can get a buff that increases your skill experience and thus your leveling speed temporarily. Which is nice. Yes, it says I'm inspired by the flame, which means we're going to get some improved uh, experience for a bit. And now with that done, we'll go over here and start to do some proper crafting. So, I'll go into here and uh, let's see what all we can make here. What all we want to do here. Um, I want to make a cooking pot for my camp. An iron cooking pot, which requires two iron ingots. Okay, let's make a couple of iron ingots. I want most of our iron 
in the form of fragments for making lockpicks, but I do want a couple of iron ingots for crafting a few basic things. There it is. There we go, there's our cooking pot. Okay, what else would I want to make here? Tanning rack, yes, that would be good, having a tanning rack out in the wild. And I, I scrapped my woodcutter axe on accident, so I should probably go ahead and do that. And I don't think I have a pickaxe yet, so I should do that. I can't make a steel one, can I? What am I missing for a steel pickaxe? Maybe there isn't a steel pickaxe. Okay, that's fine. And there is some basic stuff we can make here, too. And some of this is pretty valuable, like 300 for this is pretty good. So I will probably be doing some of these a bit later on. But for now, I really just want to spam a whole bunch of lock picks to get those. So, yeah, I think I will just um, go nuts on this to get some easy smithing levels. Two levels there after that spam, put them both into Magicka. Can I craft my, or can I cast my, I can, I can finally cast um, the one-handed version of that. Very good. That's good to hear. All right, and then, oh, am I, like, thirsty or something? I have a speech debuff. What's going on there? What's, what's the deal? Oh, I'm quite bloody. You have blood all over you. Okay. Maybe I should have a quick dip in the uh, river over here. There was a lumber mill over here, which means there's a river nearby, right? Yeah, definitely a river over here. Let's just hop over there real quick and have a quick dip. Get ourselves clean. We're doing some alchemy as well. Once I'm done with this stuff here. All right, so can I have a bath here? Is that this button? Yes, we can have a bath. Ah, oh, yes, having a nice bath. Just getting a good wash over here in the river. I don't have any soap, but um, still is nice. That was, uh, I think, the quotation mark button. You can check, by the way. Uh, it's normally F11, I think. Oh, sh crap. I did not mean to do that. I just realized I rebound my F11 key, which is normally the show all button or the, the show all key binds button. I rebound that because normally the quick load is on F9 and F9 is also my record button. And I don't want it to be there. Crap. I should maybe, maybe, maybe I'll make it be like F10 or something. Okay. F10 is quick load, that's fine. Now, does F11 show... Yeah, F11 shows all the keybinds, so if you ever want to see what the keybinds are for everything, just check F11, if you're using this Wabajack, obviously. Okay, I have a couple of things to do here, obviously. Did I at least... I don't think I placed my tent and stuff yet, because I don't think I have the inspired buff, so I'm going to have to do all that all over again. Yeah, I have to do it all over again. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, campfire is down, tent is down. I made a small tent this time around. That was very dumb of me, but oh well, it's fine, whatever. Just had to change our keybinds a bit there. Okay, so we go back here, and now we can proceed. Well, first I gotta level up, but we can proceed with our lockpick spam for smithing leveling, which will in turn also level up our character which will give us a nice bonus to health and stamina and magicka and stuff. So let's get that going. Okay, we got our smithing all the way up to uh, 54 with all that spam. And that should be a good fair few levels here as well. Going to invest a few of these into magicka. And then I think we'll start going into health because uh, we want to be able to survive those insane one-shots that people tend to throw at us. 
That should be plenty of Magicka to cast some basic restoration spells. I do have to go and clean myself off again, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, I think it's just affecting my speech skill and nothing else right now. It's not really a big deal. But, um, yeah, we have a lot of lock picks now. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 600 lock picks. So I should be well set on that for a while. And um, that'll be nice. Um, I also want to do a bit of other stuff here as well. I'd like to use the workbench here and see if I can improve some of these things that we have and maybe sell them. So yeah, this is worth a good bit if I... Hold on, before I do this, let me look at my skills here and maybe invest a bit into... I should definitely go and bathe as well before I forget about it. Advanced blacksmithing. You can temper and repair with 70% more efficiency for plate, jewelry, and exotic weapons. You can also craft certain gems of alchem alchemical dust. I'll definitely want that at some point, so that's fine. Go to these as well. Armor crafting. What is this? Hmm. You can now craft elemental ammunition and other arcane equipment. Um, I'll be doing some spell casting, so that'll probably be a thing I'll want eventually. Merlewind smithing. You can craft stuff from bones, yeah? Okay, I... I don't know that I have the stuff to make that just yet. Advanced light smithing, we'll want to make this for sure, because we're a light armor person. Elven smithing as well. That's fine as well, we'll want that at some point. And, uh, that might be all for now. I want to get this entire tree eventually, probably, but I don't know if I necessarily need it right now at this particular moment. They want to imply enchantments. Sure, but I don't have any soul gems to use right now, but yes, eventually, for sure. I don't have any the skill to do any more restoration just yet. Um, alchemy, we definitely want to get stuff into here. So, your heightened sense to reveal all properties of consumed ingredients. I can do this already? Nice. So I can just use, I can just eat stuff now and I'll get lots of alchemy stuff. Our speech is really, really bad right now. But we can still do haggling, which gives us buying and selling prices are 1% better per speech level. I guess technically right now it would be negative 5% because, yeah, we have we have that, but, you know. Uh, sneaking is 15% more effective. Uh, I'm going to pass on that maybe for now, but evasion we certainly want to do. Light armor, weight penalties are reduced. You take 25% less damage from falling. Uh, evasion perk grants 25% skill XP when taking damage and 2% reduced incoming physical damage. That's really good. I want that for sure. And then dodge. You can press sprint while moving to dodge. Absolutely. Okay, that's all of our points assigned. Very good. I feel a lot more confident now after that. It's a lot better. Let's go and bathe real quick and so I don't forget to do it. And then we'll do a bit more crafting stuff here. I think I've gone the wrong way. Oh, and there's that dodge. So if I'm moving in a direction and I just tap the shift button, we dodge real quick. See how it looks in third person. I think that has a immunity window, like it gives you uh, immunity frames or whatever, like Dark Souls. This button, right? There we go. We're a dirty orc, but we're getting clean now, it's okay. Yes, very nice, very clean. Not a smelly orc anymore. And let's refill our water bottle here if we can. Okay, got all of our stuff filled there. That's good. Notice as well that that does not make... It does not make us wet to simply bathe. If you stand on the edge of a source of water, hit the bathe button, it does not make you soaking wet. The bottom uh, button below my cold meter is the... That's what you look at for the, um, the wetness meter. It's, it's the smaller bar on the right below. So it's the lowest bar on the right, I should say, I guess, to simplify things. Okay, 
Let's get back in here and keep doing some more smithing. So I want to maybe improve some of this stuff a little bit before I sell it. Since we have since we have some steel ingots and such. That should be worth a bit more now. Um, I think I'm wearing these. Maybe this as well. Get some nice smithing levels off of that too. Okay, that's all of our leather. If I can get some more leather, though, I could do some more improvements there. Okay, but we are good now. Let's go ahead Steel's and good, but lo looking to protect yourself. Sell some Steel's stuff some here. Damage. I guess before I do any of that stuff, I should maybe yeah. check to make sure I'm not selling anything. It's, it's an upgrade, right? Like I should make sure that this is the best armor I can possibly wear now. Yeah, I'd I'd say we're good. Forge if you need arms or only a hearty soul. The finest weapons and arms. Let's go ahead and sell stuff then. The orcish stuff I'm going to keep around in my chest, I think, in case I want to ever level my heavy armor. It's a very nice set of le of uh, heavy armor that I could use for leveling it up. We're getting lots of speech skills off of this too, which is great. Anything else we can do here then? Under crafting. Tailor's tools. What do we have here? can make some hoods here. Any of them have any armor? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it's under... Hold on, let me check my smithing thing here. Hopefully I haven't used up all my materials when I could have made something better for myself here. Oh yeah, these are nice. Leather bearskin hood. Leather helmet and bearskin hood. So I'd have to make a bearskin hood or a wolfskin hood? Is that under tailor then? I'd need to use a tailor's kit to make a leather leather hood. So I'd need a cave bear pelt or a bear pelt or a wolf pelt, basically. Maybe he would sell one of those to me. Let's see. Do you have any pelts? It doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Maybe the general store would have one. Let's check in the general store and see if we can find a, a pelt of some type. A wolf or a bear pelt Let me know if you see would do. You like. Well met. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Indeed, he has a bear pelt here. It's a bit expensive, but... Should probably sell some stuff here, too. Like some random clothing items I can't sell anywhere else. Yeah, probably the best to do that here. That should do. Let me go Steel over here then to the blacksmith and see if I can make this thing be a nice helmet upgrade. Okay, so there's our bearskin hood in the tailoring kit. And then we can use the smithing tool kit. Okay, then in here we go and make a leather helmet. A leather hood, leather helmet, right? It's, it's, it is a leather helmet, correct? Yeah, leather helmet, not a hood. Okay. I need an iron ingot. Okay, that's fine. Good thing I saved a bit of iron back. Didn't use all of it up. There we go. Now we can make the hood. Unless I screwed up. No, we're good. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, leather bearskin hood. A lot of armor, a lot of warmth, a lot of coverage. Very nice. Very nice upgrade from ours. Okay, so we can then equip that. It's actually a tiny bit less on the armor, but it will be more once I upgrade it here, right? Yeah, it's better now. Cool. Can I upgrade my leather boots since I have more leather now? Cool, and I made that for helmet accent, but that's fine. We'll just sell it here real quick. We're gonna sell some crap here. Yeah, sell that, sell that, keeping those. That's all fine. Good steel's worth every Remember that. Now, what else can we make here? Probably some leather goods, right? To get some more spitting levels. 
that's quite cheap to make comparatively. Make some of these too. This is pretty good too. Fur plate, steel ingots, sure. See if we can upgrade any of these over here. Can do that. Or bleed. Mm. Blades, helmets. Do some more Pretty much selling. To suit your needs. I'm not sure if it matters on the speech skill if we do these all at once or if we sell them individually. I don't know if it matters or not. I've I've read both ways. I'm not sure which one is correct anymore, but eh, whatever, it's fine. Okay, I'm pretty happy with all that. We've done pretty well. Now let's move on to do some alchemy. And the alchemist shop I saw earlier is over here. Before we do the actual crafting, though, we'll want to uh, learn properties of everything, which I did pick up the alchemist perk, right? Yes, it reveals all properties when we eat stuff, so we're going to try a bit of everything here, pretty much, and uh, get a whole bunch of negative effects on us. Which, some of these, I only have one of them, so we're not going to get to use them for anything, but it's fine. Well, that was fun. I don't know what that Call sound is, but it's annoying. In any case, uh, let's make some stuff. So the main thing I want to make here are going to be restore health and restore stamina potions, I would say. So let's do all those that we can. Nine points for ten seconds. It's not terrible. Sure. This is worth a lot, so sure, I'll do it. Okay, that's probably all we can do for now. We've made a nice amount of potions here. We'll sell Someone new. a lot of these to this vendor here. Make us a good pile of money here. I go here through here and sell a bunch of stuff, and uh, yeah. I'll take my leave then. Okay, that should be good. We sold some stuff there, got a decent amount of gold off of her. Uh, last thing I want to do is to make some food. And I'll want to get some water here before I do that, real quick. Pretty sure I have a whole bunch of bottles in my inventory I can use over here to fill them up. Okay, did I fill up all my water bottles here? Pretty, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, whatever. The glass skooma bottle doesn't seem to work for filling with water. Maybe I have to only use that for skooma. I'm not really sure. But we can go over here and use our cooking pot. Let's see what we can make here. So we're going to use that, and then we're going to use our chef's toolkit to do the better recipes here. Bear Carrot Stew. Restores one point of stamina per second for 3,600 seconds. This stuff is great. Only requires carrots, water, and bear meat. I think carrots are going to be the thing that holds us back, but honestly, I can make a lot of those, so that's great. This is also great, too. Cabbage Stew uh, gives us Magicka regeneration, but I'm not really a Magicka person yet, so I don't really care about that too much. Wolf Cabbage Stew. This is also pretty good. Cabbage, wolf, water, and gives us stamina regeneration for 3,000 seconds. Not bad. Potato soup? 10% um, magicka regen for 1,200 seconds. Eh, and whatever. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Yeah, let's, let's definitely do um, the wolf cabbage stew as well. That's all fine. So we have some good food now. Good food. What about alchemist stuff? Can we do anything alchemist-wise? Mild acid. What's this do? Just damages the target's health a bit for a small amount of time. 
I can make my crude spider venom into good spider venom that damages um, health and stamina and paralyzes for three seconds. Pretty good. Let's do that. Can't do anything else with the mild acid afterwards, can I? I don't think I can. Okay, what about survivalist toolkit? Anything else we can do here? Flammable oil. Uh, is that useful for anything? Ooh, I can make some uh, from salt, animal fat, and flowers. I think I can make a better soap, though, than this, right? Isn't there an even better soap? Increases health, magicka, and stamina regeneration. That's pretty amazing. I need some red and blue mountain flowers for that. I think I'll hold off on making these until I can get the red and blue mountain flowers. I think those are pretty common in this area. Oh boy, I am... Okay, thankfully the fire does not hurt me because I got stuck into the tent for there for a second. I'm pretty sure those flowers are fairly common around here. So I think I'll just look around a bit here and see if I can harvest some stuff in the area. Yeah, guys, also, you can totally activate the cows and uh, get some milk from them. That's the natural way to get milk without murdering people, which is how I've gotten the rest of my milk, which milk is used in some recipes. I've also found that I, I find um, quite a bit of herbs and flowers around town, surprisingly, I think even more than other places, so lots of wood around here as well, which is nice. I'll be needing that to keep my fires going out in the wild, so... Unfortunately, as far as I know, you can't just, like, go up to a, a tree or a, a downed log or something and just chop at it to get wood. That's not a thing. Maybe there is a mod for that somewhere that can do that, but, um... Not in this mod list, at least with the current setup, so... I will want to make sure I scavenge wood piles. I think these are one-off. Yeah, I don't think you can do them again. I think you can scavenge them once, then that's it. But I will want to scavenge those wood piles and store the wood for later use to save myself some time. And I'll probably just be buying a firewood because it's pretty cheap. And chopping it yourself is a real, real time sink. It's a real pain in the butt. I mean, if you really want to waste some time in your life, I guess, chop it yourself. But the animation takes a while. It's pretty bad. Uh, additionally, we can train over here. I can pull out my two-hander here and train on this combat demo. Let's say we do it for like, I don't know, three hours. We should get some skill ups here in our two-handed. The bad part is, yeah, we did. We got some skill ups there. Uh, the bad part about that is that we got a level up too. Uh, the bad part about that is that it reduces our max stamina for a certain amount of time, which is not great. I'm going to go with more health here, I think. That's fine. We'll hold on to that perk point for now. I'm going to keep looking around here for more flowers so I can make some decent soap. And then uh, we'll have a proper bath and we'll get some health and stamina regen for free. I think with the food buff and the proper soap going, I think you can offset the stamina drain that you get from just like doing a, a jog like this. I think you can offset that completely as long as you have all the proper buffs going, which really incentivizes you to make sure you do those things properly. Gotta be careful here. I don't want to harvest something that's going to be stealing because half these things are like, they don't care, but then some of them they will and it'll be stealing and then you're in a world of trouble. So just be careful when you're looting stuff around the town. It can turn bad very quickly. It's a barracks here too. I could maybe steal some stuff, but... I don't really need it that badly. Okay, so here we go. We have gotten some blue and red mountain flowers. Uh, not a ton, but we get three soap per craft on this, so that's pretty good. We got nine there, I think. Not bad. We can get a proper bath now. And once again, I am stuck in here. It's whatever. It's fine. Uh, and then we can also put down an iron cauldron and stuff over here as well. I think I should probably make that if I haven't already. I don't think I have any yet. Be the last couple of things I make here before we turn in for the night. There's a whole bunch of crafting things you can make. You can make an alembic. Um, let's see here. 
Mortar and Pestle, Alembic, Cauldron, they're all useful for crafting and learning spells and enchantments and stuff in some way or another. I'm not sure on all of them exactly how they all work just yet. You can also do a Brewer Toolkit here and make various ales, which is kind of cool, but I don't really see a major point to that because you can get those very easily by just filling them at a barrel you can find in various places around the world, so it doesn't really seem like a big deal, but um, let's see here. I want to do... What am I doing again? I've already forgotten. All oh, right, smithing kit and trade goods. What am I missing as far as this goes? I, like an iron cauldron is what I want to make, right? Let's see. Yeah, just a bunch more iron ingots. I might not have enough ingots right now. I wonder if you've got some ingots that I could get from you. Let's see here. Uh, I can make a couple more of these. I'm not going to have enough, though. Can loot these. Oh, they just... There's no... There's no ingots in here, though. There are some free ingots laying around in the world in various places, but, um, not here. Steel's good, but the finest weapons and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me some iron ingots. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, iron... Just, yeah, just, whatever, just do a bunch of them. There we go. I could probably buy the cauldron for cheaper than what I just bought those for, but whatever. We get some skill from making that. I didn't mean to do that. I had not mean to make that. I meant to do this up here. I want to use the toolkit. There we go. Yeah, iron cauldron. What else can we make with this? The cooking pot we already have. The cauldron... I haven't found a use for the fittings or the hammer and stuff just yet. I'm not sure what those are all, like, useful for. The tongs as well. I'm not sure if that's really useful for anything or if it's just, like, a decoration type thing. I don't know what it is for, guys. Let's look at the alchemist toolkit. Um, is there an alembic I can make anywhere? Yeah, glass alembic. I need five building glass for glass alembic. This is useful for something. I'll want it eventually. Okay, whatever. I don't need it right now. It's fine. Don't need it right this moment. It's fine. We'll just wait on that for now. Let's go to our camp and sleep for the night, which is over this way, right? Need some food and water, too. Okay, let's get some sleep, and then I'll probably do some... Before I sleep, I'm gonna do some sorting. Inventory sorting stuff. I just want to get stuff out of my inventory, you know? So it's not being cluttered up so much. All right, guys, I think it's time we finally turned in for the night. Let's go ahead and sleep. It's pretty early, but, you know, we'll get an early start in the morning. Of course, we are thirsty and hungry now. Gonna run over here and have a bath real quick and use some of our freshly made soap here. See if I can... I think I can just use this like that. And... Okay. Yeah, it, it kind of freezes up for a second, but then, yeah, you do... You have to, like, hit escape and you use that soap and then the animation goes properly. Otherwise, it just freezes for a long time. But, yeah, you can see now we got suds on our back and we're all soapy and stuff, and now we're properly, properly, uh, bathed now, and we had some food, so if I check my magic stuff now, um, uh-oh, we have a cute rock joint, I should definitely probably get that taken care of, I guess that's a disease, right, so we just use a cure disease potion, that should be good to go. Yeah, we're good now. And then we just need to get some water here, too. 
That is... I hope it's this button. No, wrong button, damn it. Didn't mean to do that. Hopefully I don't wash away my good soap buff that I just made. There we go, water skin. Right, my progress towards survival skill has increased. Um, what that means is... We can look at uh, our survival skills over here. Oh, but our campfire is out. But I can look at skills still here. Doesn't matter either way. Oh, it's got to be lit to use it? Oh, okay, fine. Sure, light it. It's fine. Need... I do not have any... Whatever, I'll do it later. It's not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and pack up here, guys. We're going to pick up our chest. We're going to pick up our... tent here. Get rid of our campfire. Okay, and there we go. We're all set. It's not a very nice day out, but uh, hey, you know. Still not bad. Gotta stop for a second here. Okay, so we have no physical exertion, so we have... Increase stamina regeneration from soap. And restore stamina from the bear carrot stew. I think I can run now... Or at least jog like this. Yes, and I'm not losing any stamina. We have enough stamina regen after getting a good meal, a good night's sleep, that we no longer lose stamina just from doing a light jog like this. It's very nice. It is very rainy out, and we're going to get soaked very quick, but that's okay. Pretty happy. We're in good shape now. So let's do some exploration around here, yes? Yes.